Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kate. If you're new here, welcome. If you have been here before, welcome back. Today is exciting because it is one of my first wedding videos that I'm posting. So today's video specifically will be about starting mine and Sarah's registry and um, kind of how we go about that and how uh, we worked with Bed Bath & Beyond to create like the perfect registry and um, get some of the things that we've been needing. So I'm so excited to teach you guys all about it. I had no idea how it worked before we had gone in and talked with one of their registry consultants. Um, they made it so easy for us. So I'm gonna show you some of the registry making when we actually went into Bed Bath & Beyond with the consultant and then also some of the stuff we decided to just go ahead and get now because we didn't want to wait until our wedding um, and we needed to like update some things in our home so I'm going to show you all of that hi guys this is future me editing the video realizing that I never thanked Bed Bath & Beyond for sponsoring this video it is my first sponsored video and I'm so excited that it is with such an awesome inclusive great company to work with uh, yeah so just wanted to say that now on to building our registry <laughs> Guys, uh, Sarah and I have some exciting news today. We are starting our wedding registry. We are here at Bed Bath & Beyond and we made a registry appointment working with one of their in-store consultants. Ah. So we are gonna take you along with us and show you how easy it is to work with Bed Bath & Beyond. Okay guys, so we just started working with our in-store consultant, Laura. She gave us these handy dandy scan guns that we are going to go around and scan the things that we wanna to add to our registry. Um, and she's helped us kind of explain and map out the store so she makes sure that we don't like miss anything at all. Um, so we're starting back here. Sarah's overwhelmed. Well, basically it's set up dinnerware to like all the accessories that go with it. And then the back is set up with like- Downstairs, veg. upstairs pretty yeah. much with like budget and stuff that like and everything forward goes with it so we're starting back here with dishes because we need new ones we've gotten hand-me-down ones and we're ready to get our own so that's what's happening now a new kitchen yeah so if you wanted to carve your turkey or your ham or you're running late and you already served the plate pop it on right. in the oven aren't those great we need big ones because we don't have anything you like bring it down we'll set up a, a table for you Oh, so you, so you can see what it'll actually look like. Oh, that's amazing. But I, or however, I don't know how plates are supposed to be used. All right, so I'm dinner plate. Yeah. Salad plate. Bowl, this is mix and match, whatever your style may be. Right. And then you can even do a soup mug. These are some of my favorite pieces. Oh, yeah, I love that. Because you could do anything. You could serve like a sushi them, dish. But you can also put candles on them as a centerpiece. Oh. So you're going to be able to use certain pieces for multiple things. Okay guys, so we are almost done. We have redone our entire kitchen, all of our cupboards in our kitchen. We've done our entire bedroom, got new like pillows, a sick mattress topper that's literally so comfortable. Um, and now we're moving on to our bathroom and getting all new towels. I'm gonna tell you a secret. Sarah and I have had the same towel since she was in college. Yes, that was almost six years ago. Yes, it is disgusting. So now she's helping us pick out like the best of everything, which is nice. We tell her exactly what we like in whatever it is that she's showing us and she gives us that. So, now we are going there. It is very, very fun and the best part is you're putting it on your registry so you don't have to pay for it. Okay guys, so we just got done um, walking through the whole Bad Bath & Beyond. We hit every single section, every single corner um, and Laura helped us so much being able to like break down what we needed. We told her what we had at home, what we needed. She made sure we got the best of everything that we wanted and made sure she got stuff that would like fit in our apartment and work well for our apartment and future home. Um, and it was nice because it was all stuff that Sarah and I never really thought about because we haven't like properly adulted yet. Um, so it was nice to work with somebody who understood our needs, helped us a ton um, and it's been so much fun. I really didn't think it was gonna be this enjoyable of an experience, um, but it's 
literally so much fun and what's great is your registry is not set in stone so if i wanted to come back work with laura again find stuff or remember more things that i needed i could come back request her work with her again um and it's so awesome the process was so easy and i cannot wait to uh see what we get Okay, since you have seen um, some of the things now that we decided to do in the registry and how we kind of learned how it worked and like what you need for a real future home, we had no idea, you'll hear me say that, you'll have heard me say that a hundred times by now, um, but we really had no idea like what exactly we needed for the future. So we realized that we really didn't have enough in our home as is, like as of right now. So we wanted to kind of go ahead and just get some new things to kind of make our home now more homey until our wedding when we can upgrade to like better pieces or more pieces and add on to the collection we already have. So I'm just gonna take you around my apartment and show you some of the stuff that we decided to just go ahead and get from Bed Bath & Beyond. So one of the most important things in our entire apartment is this iRobot. I cannot suggest this bad boy enough. Honestly, you guys, Sarah and I have struggled because we've always been ballers on a budget um, and never really wanted to drop a lot of money on a vacuum, which I think is something that you really do need to spend money on if you want a good one. Um, so we've gone through like so many over the years, like buying cheaper ones or buying ones on Amazon that like aren't as good um, and they've never worked or they've broken after like a year. Um, so this iRobot, if you follow me on all my stuff, you know that I post this thing all the time. I am obsessed with it. But yeah, that is like the number one thing I would have to suggest getting. Like I, it's like one of my favorite adult purchases we've ever had. Okay, so as you can see in our apartment, we kind of keep like a all creamish white theme going on here. I don't really like too much color um, just because I'm super plain. So these pillows we actually got from Bed Bath & Beyond um, and they're super, super great. They're really cute. We already had this one. Um, so these ones were like a great addition just to add. It goes with the couch. It goes with the pillows we already have on the couch um, and they are so cute. So I'll make sure I'll link all of these things down below just in case you're interested in getting any of them. Okay, and from there, this is a lamp that we got from Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, we originally for a while only had the bar cart here and the couch and we had nothing else filling up this space here and I didn't want to put any paintings because we have this whole picture ledge and I thought it would be too busy so I found this lamp and it's really nice because you can kind of bend it down lower um, and make it kind of face any way that you want which is really really nice so right now we just have it kind of facing over the couch and I feel like it fills up the wall space well enough that where we don't really need anything else or in this like little corner just because it would get too cluttered and busy. Uh, so I really like that. And then another thing we got from Bed Bath & Beyond, we actually got two of these, um, are these fake fiddle leaf fig trees. And right now I have baskets. I'm still trying to pick out what I want for the actual pots for them. But this one is like a great height. I knew I wanted something green in this corner and nothing too busy. Um, so I love that. The other one is actually on the opposite wall in the opposite corner and I have it. It's a little bit taller over here. Um, I knew I wanted something to fill this wall up, but didn't know what I wanted, so I got the exact same one. They do look a little bit different, but it's because I have their leaves bent different because they're fake. Um, but for us personally, like I love how plants look in an apartment or in a home in general, um, but we travel literally so often and um, we're gone all the time, like literally all the time. We're never home for an extended period of time. So it was better for us to, for now until we're more settled to get like a, a fake plant, like the ones that we you see here. And they're like a forever purchase. Like you, they literally will never die, never like whatever. So those I was like very excited about getting and I knew I wanted two big fake ones um, for our living room. So that was like exciting for us. Oh, so now we're moving on to the kitchen and this was mine and Sarah's kind of favorite place to get new stuff just because we had had most of the stuff in our kitchen since we first moved in together five years ago and some of it even from college for Sarah. So getting all the new stuff and like really cleaning out the kitchen was really, really a good option for us because it was definitely time. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the things we got. We got this really cute um, Kate Spade uh, 
tea kettle and honestly I use it every day like as you can see I am drinking tea right now um, and it says whistle while you work on it which is so so cute um, and I'm trying to redo everything to get like an all white theme going on in here so then we got this little um, ceramic holder. We used to have like a metal one from Ikea and it would really just get like really finger prints all over it and really dirty. So I'm obsessed with this white one. And then we got all new um, utensils, like nice ones that we like had had like crappy ones from TJ Maxx for so long. So we went and we got like really, really good ones. Honestly, a lot of them are in our dirty dishes right now, but we got like good spatulas and good everything and um, they're all like safe and they don't have that like bad chemical that like is supposed to give you cancer. So we're really happy with those purchases and they were all super reasonable. So then we got these um, Kate Spade salt and pepper shakers. We had had the same salt and pepper shakers since literally we had first moved in with each other and they were so gross and I'm so embarrassed to say that. And then the next thing in the kitchen is we got all new like glasses. We got all new glasses, we got these really cool pasta dishes that are like so so cute and like big, we use them for like salads and stuff too. Um, and then we got all new bowls and like this all, like this, this, and these, and the mugs all came in a set for like super cheap, I think they were like 20, 25 dollars. So Sarah and I, fun fact, had not gotten new dishes for the last five years since we moved in together, they were all hand-me-downs, literally everything we had in our kitchen. The um, plates, the bowls we had, the di the glasses we had, we had like all mismatched glasses and now we have like these like all matching like nice glassware uh, and all the mugs we had were like all like random and like gross. We got rid of like basically all of our mugs since the kit came with some and then we just kept the ones we grabbed like traveling. We always get a mug in every new country and then we have like a bunch of Mrs. mugs um, because we're engaged. So that's pretty much it for in there. Did we get anything else? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, we did. So we also got, we hadn't gotten a new toaster since Sarah was in college. Gross, that was like six years ago. Um, so we got a new toaster. So yeah, it has been a while since we got a new toaster. So we got like a brand new toaster. It has like more settings than our other one did. It's like clean, super easy to use. And then, even more exciting, we got ourselves a very nice microwave. Our old microwave was like a $50 microwave from like Walmart. And we got this like huge one that has like all these crazy settings and does all of this stuff. It's like half of a microwave, half of a toaster oven. It's crazy the stuff this thing does. It's so smart. It's so much better than our last one. Like I literally cannot suggest it enough. And then the other thing that Sarah was very excited about that we like did not want to wait on was a new trash can. So I know this sounds so boring and you probably are like, okay, no one cares about a trash can, but it holds 60 liters of trash. We never have to change it. It like pops on and off like that. It's so, so nice. I really didn't think I was gonna be as excited about this new trash can as I was because Sarah was so lit about it, but like game changer for sure. So moving on, another random thing that we got, this closet's like a little bit messy, but another random thing that we got was um, this clothes bin. Obviously the lights in there are towel, or the darks right now are towels, but it helps us separate laundry because Sarah's doesn't separate laundry very well. So this literally gives her like put your lighter clothes in here and your darker clothes in there. So that has like saved my life a ton. Okay, so we updated a few things in our bedroom. The first and like my favorite thing, and I've been wanting this for so long and never like bit the bullet, but I did it finally because I saw it at Bed Bath & Beyond and it was for even a cheaper price than I saw it on Amazon for, so I got it. It's this circle mirror. Are you not obsessed with it? Look how cute it is. Um, it's just added a lot to this wall, like this corner was kind of, we had no mirror there. So we just had our TV um, and it just like looked really plain. So it was really nice that it was like a great addition and it added like the perfect black accent to our room. So you probably are like, Kate, what, Lee, this looks the same. So we got all new duvet. We got a new duvet, which came with two new shams. And then we got new like nice pillows and jersey sheets, which I cannot suggest enough. They're absolutely insane. And then in our duvet, we got like a very nice new down comforter duvet that's like amazing. And then under that, as if that wasn't enough to make you wanna crawl in our bed, in our jersey sheets that are out of this world, we got like a Tempur-Pedic memory foam topper and like you can't even tell how like much you sink into this thing. It's like the perfect level of firm and like you can hear it. And like the perfect level of also like you melt into the bed. Sarah and I are literally so obsessed with our bed now. It's so bad. We like make it an excuse to like crawl into bed earlier than normal. Like 
we're literally in love with it. Um, yeah, so, and it just like looks so much better. Like the blanket is so much more full than our last one was. Like we had like a crappy one and now this is just like so full and so fluffy and like it's hard for us to get out of bed. I cleaned out our entire closet. I got us all matching felt hangers, which I cannot suggest enough. The amount of space you save because of these hangers and like the way things stay on them is like incredible. I really cannot recommend it enough, but I like, it like caused me to like redo our whole closet and get rid of so much stuff. I literally donated so many things. And then um, I got some extras so that we never run out, which is really, really nice. And then I got these bins. So I got six of these bins. You'll see them in like various parts of our apartment. I had like old ones that we had organized up here, but two of them are in here. I keep like my makeup extras in them and it like is a great place. Like I have one for sheets and for like extra um, pillowcases uh, and stuff like that. So I have some in there and then I'll show you this closet that I also organized. Okay, so I got this shoe rack which I know it looks insane and like not that organized, but if you would have seen this part of our closet before I got this shoe rack, you would have been disgusted. For two girls and like most of our shoes, this really isn't that bad. Um, but this thing has seriously saved our lives and what's nice about it is you can continually, continuously add on to it, um, which is great. We just don't have the height in this closet. And then here's another one of the bins. Those are like our summer sandals and stuff because we travel a lot so we can't take them like and put them in storage just because we travel like to this like to warmer climates all the time. And then here's more of the bins. So there's like a bin for Paisley and a pin for like our or a bin for our extra paper goods. And then as you can see, I redid all of our hangers in here as well. They all match the other ones, which is like so nice. One thing I did forget that we just went all out on, we got all new towels. There's two bins of them because we have people visiting us all the time. And we had the same towels and they were all different colors. We had the same towels all from Sarah's when Sarah was in college, which is so gross. That's like six years old and she had them for like two years, which like, I don't even want to think about. Please don't come for me. Like we were just like balling on a budget and like spent money on other things like rent and living. So yeah, we finally like got like all nice new towels and they all match and like, I'm so psycho about them now. Like I don't let Sarah like, we're not allowed to like wipe our faces with them because I don't want them to get ruined because they're like, so soft all right so that is it for my video today i hope you guys enjoyed seeing kind of some stuff that i learned along the way with building a registry with bed bath and beyond i cannot recommend it enough it's so easy they make it so simple especially when you go in and meet with one of their consultants at the registry counter they really show you how the store works and kind of break down like what's necessary for like a home um and what uh are good upgrade options or things even for your budget like things that me and sarah were like eh, i'm not sure um they can kind of make it fit to any of your needs and any of your guests needs and they really kind of know how to make your registry perfect for you which is amazing because Sarah and I had no idea what we were doing it is future me again I realized that I forgot to mention um, you can either register online on their app or in person which is what we did um, you can also register for more than just like items like the ones that we did you can also do a cash fund which is awesome if you already have like an established home where you don't really need too many things or you can do experiences as well so it's nice that you can do all three in one place and you don't have to use like 10 different registries they make it so so easy like i've said a hundred times in this video it really is your registry your way uh yeah i just wanted to let you guys know that before i forgot <laughs> so super thankful for them i'm so thankful for the opportunity to have learned exactly what to do um and i'm glad i could show you kind of how i use some of the things in my home and will continue to as we next year have our bridal shower and officially get to use our registry a little bit so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you learned something please leave a comment down below if you have any questions i will be happy to answer them for you and uh yeah links are all in the description so you can buy everything that i got